Liam Payne is probably the least active and least talked about member of One Direction, yet for some reason, he went on Logan Paul's podcast and said the most. He really tried to ruin our memories of One Direction by exposing all their drama and talking all of his ex-bandmates. Luckily, people are seeing right through it, and in the end, all it really did was expose himself. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Before we talk about all the tea that was spilt during the Impulsive podcast, we need to talk about who exactly Liam Payne is and his history with One Direction. Liam started his singing career all the way back in 2008 when he first auditioned for The X Factor. At the time, he was only 14 years old, which ended up being a huge disadvantage for him. Simon Cowell eliminated him, stating he was too young, told him to go and finish school, and come back in two years. And that's exactly what Liam did. In 2010, he auditioned again and sang Cry Me a River and got four yeses. Little did he know, Simon saying no to him two years ago would be the best thing that's ever happened to him. During the competition, Simon felt like Liam wasn't doing as good as he could by himself. He was eliminated as a solo artist, but given a second chance to be in a group. That group would end up being One Direction. Simon pulled other contestants who also failed in the solo category. He put them in a group and the rest was history. Even though they didn't win the X Factor, they gained huge popularity. They signed with Simon's record label and released their debut album, Up All Night, which included the hit song, What Makes You Beautiful, which I'm sure we all know and love. After years of a successful career, the group started to crumble in early 2015. Zayn announced mid-world tour that he was leaving the band and shocked everyone. Zayn wrote a public statement which said, My life with One Direction has been more than I could ever imagine. But after five years, I feel like it is now the right time for me to leave the band. I'd like to apologize to the fans if I've let anyone down, but I have to do what feels right in my heart. I am leaving because I want to be a normal 22 year old who is able to relax and have some private time out of the spotlight. I know I have four friends for life in Louie, Liam, Harry, and Niall. I know they will continue to be the best band in the world. He later went on to do his first ever interview since leaving the band and he revealed more insight into why he left. He said, There was never any room for me to experiment creatively in the band. If I would sing a hook or a verse slightly R&B or slightly myself, it would always be recorded 50 times until there was a straight version that was pop generic as fuck. Whenever I would suggest something, it was like, it didn't fit us. He also said he never really wanted to be in the band in the first place. Now, a lot of people started to call Zayn ungrateful. They said that without the opportunity to be in the band, his solo career would have never taken off the way it did. I think what people failed to realize is that Zayn had a much different experience than the other band members. He experienced racism, he was shy when performing, and getting so famous so young seemed to really take a toll on him. He just wanted to live out his 20s as as normal as possible. Even though he stepped out of the spotlight with One Direction, he kind of stepped back into it after releasing his first ever solo, Pillow Talk. Only months after Zayn left, the rest of One Direction ended up taking a hiatus, which turned out to be permanent. All of the guys have gone on to have very successful solo careers. They've all found success in their own ways, but I would think Harry is probably the most well-known. After Sign of the Times, Watermelon Sugar, and now his new album, Harry's House, I think it's safe to say that he's done the most with his solo career. Even if you weren't the biggest fan of One Direction, you most likely know who Harry Styles is and could easily recite the lyrics of at least two of his songs. Now, over the years, there's been a lot of speculation as to if everyone is still friends. One Direction has always been seen as this group of friends with talent who love each other and would be brothers for life. After they broke up though, fans began to wonder if that was really the case. There's been comments made, a little bit of shade thrown. I love those guys. They're my brothers. Niall, Liam, Louie. And uh, Ringo. And Zayn was the only one out of the whole group not to post anything as tribute for their 10 year anniversary. Despite the ex band members clearly not being the best of friends, they still stayed civil on social media and a lot of fans still hope for an in-person reunion one day. Well, <laughs> Liam ruined a lot of fans hope of ever getting a reunion after his impulsive episode this week. 
During 2020, in the height of the pandemic, One Direction fans saw Liam as their only hope of ever getting a reunion. He was always hyping up the other members, and he talked about the possibility of a reunion sooner than later, and honestly, he seemed the most eager out of everyone to reunite. Times have definitely changed though, because Liam was messy, and he said a lot of things that he probably should have kept to himself. To start this whole mess off, Liam was heavily drinking throughout the entire episode. You could tell as time went on, he started to get messier and messier, and I have a feeling the whiskey he was drinking played a huge part in that. Probably not the best idea to go into an interview like Impulsive and not be 100% aware of what's going on and what you're saying. Impulsive isn't like a professional interview where they're only going to ask you about your life and your music. They're going to dig for the drama. And honestly, Liam made their job so easy. During the episode, Liam was asked about his relationship with Louis or lack of relationship. He said during their time in the band together, they actually hated each other. Like I say, I wasn't used to like rowdy guys and whatever else and like- it, it, Were the boys rowdy? Yeah, in particular, a couple of them, yeah. Which ones? Like Louis was wild. Louis was wild and he wanted to be wild and he's, that's his spirit. And also he's my best mate now, but in the band we hated each other. Like to come to blows, hate each other. Whoa. Like it was like, it was close, but he's like- Apparently they're all good now, but still. Did people really need to know that? Sounds like something that probably should have been kept between them. A lot of people are shocked to hear about the feud, writing, Liam and Louie hated each other? Heartbroken to learn that Liam and Louie hated each other. Louie is so right for it though. Other fans are saying that it's really not that big of a shock, and if you were a One Direction fan from day one, you would know that. One person wrote, everyone knows Liam and Louie hated each other in the beginning of One Direction but they got along after one year. It's not a secret. Liam also opened up about an argument he got into with an unnamed member. Liam said it got to a point where this unnamed member threw him against a wall and Liam told him if he didn't stop, he would never use his hands again. Yeah. Ha have any of the boys uh, in the group ever actually come to come to blows? Not almost no, come to blows, no, but we, actually. We, we, came, we, 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 we came very close at points. I think it was well known within the band that I don't like taking right, right. at a certain point. I made it very obvious. I'm not going to tell you how. <laughs> um, and there was one moment where there was an argument backstage and someone, one ma member in particular threw me up a wall. So I said to him, if you don't remove those hands, there's a high likelihood you'll never use them again. That is such a British thing to say. <laughs> just Once again, did we really need to know that? He kind of feels like starting drama for no reason. The band is over, it ended on okay terms, and to tarnish the memories that people had of them all being brothers and getting along, just to impress Logan Paul? Like, come on. He also addressed Zayn. Logan brought up the drama between Jake, Zayn, and Gigi that happened a few years ago, and Liam made a shady remark about Zayn. Which band may are we talking about? I already think I know, but just throw it, throw it in the mixer. Our boy Zayn. Oh, X band mate, I Wayne, should say. Wayne Malik. Wayne. Jake felt like Zane was disrespectful to him and he wanted to like say what's up. And so Jake tweeted at him and then Gigi tweeted at Jay calling yeah. him like ugly and irrelevant and that went crazy viral. And you know, Jake and is she ugly. Tweet, she tweeted something <laughs> about but, but he's not irrelevant. Then she tweeted she tweeted something about get yourself like a respectful man or something. Yeah, yeah. That one didn't age very well. It didn't age <laughs> <laughs> If you guys didn't know, he's talking about the story that came out about the fight between Zayn and Gigi's mom, Yolanda. Once again, it just seems like he's trying to start and insert himself into things that have absolutely nothing to do with him. Another thing that made people feel really weird was that Liam was speaking on Zayn's upbringing. He alluded to Zayn's parents not being the most supportive and that contributed to how Zayn acts today. He said he has so many reasons not to like Zayn, but he also has a lot of reasons to always be on his side. Once again, this seems to be a theme, but it's not his place to comment on anything about Zane's personal life, especially on Logan Paul's podcast. Liam also talked about everyone's solo careers. According to Liam, his first ever solo song, Strip That Down, did way better than the rest of the members. He said it got over a billion streams and outsold everyone. As you can probably guess, One Direction fans were so quick to call him out on that lie. 
They wrote, Liam Payne believes his debut solo single, Strip That Down, outsold the other One Direction members. And they attached this screenshot, which shows that Liam actually came in last. So he was just a little bit off. He also talked about how One Direction started. Liam said he was the first member of One Direction and the rest of the band was built around him. Part of the reason One Direction was made was because of Simon's promise to me that in two years, I'll make this work for you. Wow. So he kind of started with my face and then worked around the, the, the rest. I've never told that story before. So you, you, were, wow. you were the inception. I was the honorary member of One Direction, yes. And he told me that story himself in his house. Wow. Now, a lot of people are freaking out about him saying this, but I will say, I think he's actually correct. When One Direction started, Simon did see Liam as the main person. He always had the opening verse. They tried to make him stand out, but fans picked Harry. If anything, that's even worse for Liam. They pushed so hard for Liam to be seen as the leader of One Direction, but in the end, Harry was the fan favorite. A lot of fans are just so shocked that Liam stooped this low so many years later. All of the other members are doing so good right now. They're selling out concerts, Harry just released his new album. They all have their own thing going on. The only thing Liam has going for him right now is a cheating scandal. A lot of fans think the only reason Liam went on the podcast and stirred things up the way he did was to distract people from his own drama. You see, Liam's ex-fiance, Maya Henry, called Liam out for cheating on her. A fan page on Instagram posted these photos, which look like Liam with his new girlfriend. All of these fans were taking Maya in the photos, wondering what was going on. And she commented on the fan's Instagram, writing, I love all the fans so much, but please stop sending me these pictures of my fiance wrapped around another woman. This is not me, and it's hard enough knowing this has happened without me seeing it. Enough now. A rep for Liam claimed they were already broken up, but Maya claims she was caught off guard with the pictures. Yikes. Anyways, to wrap things up, a lot of One Direction fans are just really disappointed in Liam. He said a lot that should have been kept to himself and it was all very unnecessary. Do you guys remember when Harry was on The Late Late Show and Kendall Jenner asked him to rank everyone's solo music careers or eat a bug? And he ate the bug before she could even finish the question. Yet Liam is out here spilling everything willingly for Logan Paul. Make that make sense. The next day, after receiving an overwhelming negative response, Liam issued this Twitter statement. Guys, I wouldn't normally comment on this stuff, but when it's your family, it's hard to let it slide. They mentioned a specific incident involving Zane, which I responded to. But listening back, maybe I didn't articulate myself as well as I could have. I was saying that there will always be things we disagree on, but that I will always, always be on his side. That's family. Zane is my brother and I will stand by him forever. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think the fans are overreacting or do you think he actually went way too far? Also, while you're at it, tell me what your favorite song from Harry's house is because I just ordered the record and I'm so excited. Let me know about all of that down below and I'll see you next time.